Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great. And for anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. In today's episode, we are continuing on with our VGC Series 10 content and featuring and continuing on with our very rarely used restricted Pokemon kind of theme that we've had the last two weeks. We will get back to more standard teams, I promise, after I'm back from holiday, but we're ending up today on Zygarde, one of those other Pokemon that really don't see very much use, but an interesting Pokemon nonetheless. So we've got a Sporting Cast, we've got the Misty Seed on it, it's kind of the standard item that you would see on Zygarde, helps boost that special defense. We do have the Power Construct Zygarde as well, which is going to make it a little bit more interesting if we get to that 50% HP mark and we can get that full Zygarde form going in a game. Uh, then we've got support and cast of Tapu Fini. Obviously we need the, the Misty Train to proc the Misty Seed. Grimmsnarl screen support going to be just that extra defensive buff that we need help uh, Zygarde perform a little bit better. As well as that, we've got Sucker Punch, which can help out with things like uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex, which could be a little bit more problematic in games because of just the speed that it has. And Zygarde tends to be uh, operate on the bit more slower side of things and um, we've got Rillaboom as well helps out with Kyogre and other water types it can be a bit problematic for Zygarde namely Tapu Fini Rillaboom deals with them pretty easily obviously the fake out as well is pretty nice there stack attacker gives us an option against things like Xerneas that are going to be very difficult for us to deal with and Zygarde doesn't like Xerneas in the slightest so we need a mod in the team to help us out with that and stack attacker fills that role perfectly and then rounding up with Volcarona it gives us a little bit more stability against something like Zashian that you know can be difficult to deal with we do have screen support the Zygarde can hit it for good damage but Zygarde a little bit underwhelming damage wise so you're going to need something a little bit extra to kind of deal with things like Zashian that are so prominent in the format as well uh, and I believe that you know Volcarona is probably one of the best candidates for that it also gives us redirection as well a little bit more support for Zygarde against single target fairy type attacks so that is the team it will be down in the description as always the poker Pist. and if you stick around till the end of the episode we'll throw a rental code up of the team so hopefully you enjoyed today's team as always like I've been doing this week let me know down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on Zygarde is it good is it bad do you like it? I want to hear. So let me know down below. And without further ado, friends, we'll get into game one of today's episode. Okay, first up today, we have an Entai, Groudon, Reggie Alecki, Rillaboom, Grimmsnarl, and Incinero team. Very centric and very support heavy around this Groudon. You've got the sun being set. It's going to support the Entai. Played a few Scarfed Entais earlier this week. So it's something that we have to keep in mind. Speed control here on my opponent's team. Uh, Reggie Alecki going to be the main kind of speed control there with Electro Wear. We can't discount something like like Grim Snarl though, can have something like Thunder Wave. So we do need to be a little bit careful for that. Zygarde actually has a really good match here. We just need to be careful about things like Entai that can burn us. Uh, but otherwise, we're kind of all right. You know, the Grim Snarl can be a little bit tricky to deal with, of course, on my opponent's end because it does have those stab uh, fairy type attacks. It can be a little bit of an issue for us to deal with. But I think we'll lead off with Grim Snarl. Uh, as I go, get our screens up if we can. Then we've got Tapu Fini coming for support. And then maybe, maybe, maybe Rillaboom is pretty good because the only things that really threaten Rillaboom, I guess he'd crash on Groudon, but we can hit it first with Grassy Glide. Definitely going to be the Entai and the Incineroar, but we can trap them in with Zygarde if we can kind of manipulate our board well enough with the rest of the Pokemon that we've got. So, let's see. Can we get two wins with Zygarde today? I feel like Zygarde's a little bit like Lugia, like the games are, and the episode's probably going to be a little bit longer. The games are a little bit more slow because you've got that little bit more setup. Um, it's been nice, you know. This is probably going to be the end of playing all of these kind of, like, uh, lesser used restricteds um, because I'm going away on holiday to, today. Today I'm away for an entire week, so we'll not have any content on the channel next week, which is a little bit sad. But we've done a lot of teams over the last two weeks, which has been really fun. So I hope you have enjoyed it. We'll get more back to more of a standard sort of um, uh, teams and looking at those and seeing where. The metagames developed from where we, we left it off after kind of picking up these fun teams. But do let me know if you've enjoyed these teams. It'd be great to hear what your thoughts and things are on them. Uh, okay, so we can reflect. Do we go? Do we go for a coil here or just a protect? I think we just protect here, to be honest. Because, like, they probably, they probably reflect as well. You've got to imagine they probably reflect. I would imagine they do. They could fake out, though, you know? Can't discount it. 
we reflect. Who's Grimmsnarl's better, the white one or the, the kind of purple, dark purpley one? Just two reflects coming out. So we're going to have to contend with Spirit Break the next turn. It's Precipice Blade's coming out, which is, it's alright, you know. We can coil the next turn if we need to. Well, we will coil the next turn, for sure. Um, we'll Spirit Break as well into their Grimmsnarl. We're going to take a Precipice Blade, and we're going to take a Spirit Break. Ooh, we're going to see a Scary Fear Fierce come out. Oh, this is interesting. I don't mind the Speed Drop, to be honest. Like, we'll get the Coil up. Uh, Grimmsnarl avoiding the Precipice Blades, which is, which is all right. Um, yep, yeah, and we'll get a Coil up, which is fine. Spirit Break coming out. Doing decent damage. Can't scoff at that. And we'll get a Coil up. And that's what we want. We want the coil at this point. We get a couple of these up. We're in a good spot, especially when they we get like the 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 the, the big the big Megazord Zygarde. Yeah, Precipice Blades again, and a Spirit Break here from the opposing Grimmsnarl incoming into our Zygarde. But we will get that full. Um, full form now. Full form, here we go. Oosh, we take that so well. We take that so well. Um, special attack drop, not too bad. It's going to be difficult for my opponent now to deal with a Zygarde. That's all I'm going to say. Because now we can get Finny onto the field. Here we go. Here's the presence. Do, 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 do. Megazord. Does remind me just of uh, the uh, is it Megazord, one of the Power Rangers, the original? I don't know, can't remember. It's such a long time ago, but we're getting that nice health back. We get a complete format, and we're in a good, good position now to uh, to go forward. So I do think we get Tapu Fini in. We can utilize that. Um, we go for thousand. We've got thousand arrows and thousand waves, so we can trap if we want, or we can just get damage onto the field. I think we just we don't worry about trapping just yet. We will get Tapu Fini in. Um, we'll get a terrain up. That'll protect us a little bit more against like anti burns from sacred fires and stuff like that. And then we can heal pulse because there is no way without a crit they are taking this zygote down now. So there's our misty boost. Oh, now withdrawing Grimmsnarl. This could be quite dangerous, you know, if they bring an anti here. Oh, it's incineroar, so the intimidate makes a lot of sense. Uh, but we are plus one still, so it's still going to do significant damage to the Incineroar, you know? They're just going to press with Blades again. Um, yeah. And just nowhere near enough damage. And this will. We should have Thousand Arrows here, so we could have trapped the Incineroar in. They're going to fake out. I'd imagine they'll fake out. Um, fake out the Zygarde here. Which just allow us to get this uh, heal pulse. And we'll just go for that again. I mean, we could coil as well, but... It's nice just to start getting damage onto the field. If they switch out to Grimmsnarl or anything like that, I'll start playing around and making odd switches. Then at least we can kind of punish those with damage rather than just trying to get a coil up. When we've already got kind of two under our belt. It's just that I think the smart thing for them to do is to try and cycle these Intimidates with Incineroar. That's the best way to approach Zygarde, you know, if you can constantly... Ooh, okay. Well, they're going to lose Incineroar, I think. The Precipice Blade's coming out. Yeah, Tap of Finny. It's Slothing Groudon, which isn't ideal. Um... The sun does fade. I don't know if we'll be able to take another Precipice Blades. That's the problem. So I don't know if we're going to get our Heal Pulse off. Because if you looked at where we flinched, um, Finny was slower than Groudon. But Precipice Blades can miss. They've hit quite consecutively the past few turns. So there is every chance that they may miss. But Grim's not likely to be the Pokemon. Ooh, Rillaboom. Okay. I see terrain. We can get a heal pulse off that seals it is for us, I think, really. But I'm not really Ooh. And Brassy C, that's a nice option on, on boom. I like that. <gasps> They're protecting. Oh dear. 
Oh dear, oh dear. We are able to get a heal pulse up. And the grassy terrain is going to help us out even more now. So, <clears throat> we're not really going to be able to do much damage to the Rillaboom though. That's the thing, because of that grassy seed boost that they've got. Obviously, they'll resist this attack anyway. Um... But the light screen, not going to last forever. Okay, we might want to adjust our board position here a little bit. Uh, we could bring in our own Rillaboom. I'm pretty safe to bring in our own Rillaboom now and just go for Protect, to be honest. The issue is they can cycle in and out of like Rillaboom and Incineroar now just to cycle these Intimidates and just really weaken... We can our own Zygarde. But Groudon going to be in range to go down for Grassy Glide. But it makes for a good target to come in for like Groudon switch out. Incineroar come in there. So we could maybe target down um, the Rillaboom here on my opponent's side with a U turn and just a thousand arrows. Or we could coil again, to be honest. So it just mitigates for when uh, the Incineroar comes back onto the field. You kind of want to keep the pressure on the Groudon as well at the same time because uh, yeah, they're, they're kind of clawing health back all the time. Um, let's go for the U-turn. Let's coil. Let's coil. And the battle was cancelled. Okay, well. Good game to my opponent. It would have been drawn out, but I don't think they, like I say, like I said it earlier, you know, unless they get a crit, I don't think they're taking down the Zygarde. I don't feel like they've got any way to take down the Zygarde in that situation. So uh, Zygarde showed pretty well how it can get set up. And then from there, we can kind of go on. So good game to my opponent. We'll jump into game two of today's episode. Okay, next up today, we got David playing a team of Landorus Incarnate, Zashian, Rillaboom, Hitmontop, Chandelure, and Tapu Fini. So we got Intimidate in the Hitmontop fake out there as well. Double fake out from the Rillaboom. Uh, the Chandelure is interesting because it gives you Imprison. It gives you Trick Room options as well. Um, and a decent fire type uh, that can cause us all sorts of issues. But I think Zygarde generally quite good here. Um, probably want... It's difficult though because you kind of want... Uh, the Volcar oh, we definitely want Volcarona. It's just difficult against the Shandy, but I mean, <sighs> Tapu Fini makes it a little bit tricky as well. So you kind of want to bring like Zygod, Rillaboom, Tapu Fini, and Volcarona, and then you don't have the screen support, but could potentially just. Mm. Do we need it? Do we need. Nah, I think we're alright. I think we're okay with these four. I believe in Zygarde enough to deal with the threats that we've got. The Chandelier is an interesting one. I like Chandelier as a Pokemon. I think it matches up really well against something like Zashin, you know. Uh, Zashin literally cannot really touch it. And um, damage output in return is just phenomenal. Like Chandelier's base special attack is crazy good. Okay, so we have got... Zashin, Chandelure. We can't fake out the Chandelure, but we can switch. I mean, we, what we could do is just switch straight to Tapu Fini with Boom and go for a Coil. Because the Zashin might be in two minds whether to protect here because they don't want to take like Fake Out and a Thousand Arrows, potentially. There's always the worry, though, that we take, like... Well, they could double up into the Zygarde here. Behemoth Blade. Um, plus one. Still going to do a, a, a crazy amount of damage. Crazy amount of damage. Um, it's kind of why we need to get something like Volcaron on the field pretty quick to kind of help negate. Ooh, play rough. That is not what we want to see. Uh, the miss there, though, is helpful. And the overheat into Tapu Fini is very, very helpful. Play rough. Whew. Okay, not something you see very often on something like Zygarde, um, on Zashin, but it is an option there. And it obviously is part fairy type, so um, it does make a lot of sense. The coil up is really, really huge for us. Um, 
I think we could potentially protect Zygod here and switch into Volcarona though. Because they may bring in their own uh, Rillaboom now. Do they have Rillaboom? I'm pretty sure they had Rillaboom, right? Are they just going to overheat again? I'm going to play rough and Shadow Ball. Double in into Zygod. Okay. Okay. Um, we got we got Rage Powder now, so we can coil again, and just Rage Powder. We could Quiver Dance as well, because I think we switch out at this point. I think we take the opportunity to to Quiver Dance. All honesty, and yeah, they withdraw and Shandy. What's coming in, Tapu Finny? Okay. Playing rough again. Jeez, that does so much damage. That does so much damage. Wow. Okay. That does way more damage than what I expected it to do. Get the coil off again, but we're in a pretty bad spot against something like the type of Finny this next turn. Um, hmm. Wow. Didn't expect them to go for that, because if we just Rage Powdered there, like, Zygarde's in such a good spot. But we're not in such a good spot now with the type of Finny on the field. You kind of need to get um, Rillaboom onto the field. But you, you got to think, between, like, Volcarona and Rillaboom, we, we're kind of all right. We're kind of all right. Um, I think we protect. And we could just Giga Drain. Tapu Finny. Yeah, we're probably better off doing that because like the Zashin causing us too many issues. Zashin protecting here. We're probably going to see a Moonblast into into to our Zygarde, I would think. Giga Drain, is it going to do 50%? I don't know. I don't know. If it does, that's huge for us. Yeah, okay, we'll get it the next turn. Ooh, Haze coming out. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, all right. It makes it easier now for us to switch Rillaboom the in though, um, and then just go Heat Wave. And we'll keep Zygarde for a little bit later. We still got Tapu Fini of our own. I don't know if Tapu Fini will and not protect here though, because that Giga Drain's pretty... We could have just Giga Drained here again, but I feel like getting some damage onto the Zashian is pretty useful. There's a player off. Let's connect. Really been taking that way better though. Okay, we don't mind the miss onto the, the Finny, in all honesty. It's just that, that Heat Wave onto the Zashian. That's all we care about. Muddy Water coming out. Okay. Well, we got a pretty free... We got a pretty free Quiver Dance this next turn. Because the Zashin is not... I don't think the Zashin... Um, we just Grassy Glide into the Finny and we just Quiver Dance. Because I don't think the Zashin attacks here. Because I think that, that, like, that the threat of Fake Out, Heat Wave, is too much. Too much. They may switch the Finny out and just protect the Zashin though. Yeah, it's actually going to switch out. Okay, Finny might protect. Which is kind of fine. They do. No. So I'll get the Finny, which is good. Makes it easier for uh, Zygarde to to work. But it's, it's like a puzzle. Like, we need to like get rid of certain elements of my opponent's team before we can actually... do some work like we've got to worry about obviously like overheat from the opposing chandelier still a still a threat you know um landerous okay i mean a grassy glide and a heat wave is going to be enough to get the landerous i mean a grassy glide and giga drain is probably enough to get it to be honest yeah i think Grassy Glide Giga Drain probably gets it. Oh, but it protects. Of course it does. Of course it does. Where's the overheat going though? It's going to be into Volcarona, I would imagine. May miss though. It's a bit. It's a bit risky. 
It's a bit of a risky attack. Oh, they trick room. Huh, nice. How slow is that chandelier, though? This suits Zygarde way better. I think... Uh, do we just knock off the chandelier? And just protect Volcarona? Well, we can't. We have to Rage Powder, if anything. Um... I think we'll try and knock off into Shandy. Um, and I guess Giga Drain. I guess Giga Drain into the Landorus. We are faster. It is enough, but it takes down to its Sash. They're going to get an overheat off. <coughs> into Volcarona, I would imagine. Oh, into Rillaboom. Okay. We have got a Quiver Dance. I don't know if an Earth Power will be enough to get us. Oh, they ro Rock Slide. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. They do have enough. Um. Well. Zygarde, can you do the business for us right now? Because that's what we need. We need, we need you to do the business for us. Business time. Play rough is going to be awkward to deal with, of course. Uh, but I think, I think, do we coil right now? Coiling now is probably a better idea. Coiling and heal pulsing. Does a Landorus have a uh, sludge bomb? You've got to imagine it has. Strange to see rock slide on it though, you know? We just need to coil, 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 coil. To the point where we can, like, one hit KO. Can we take this? We can. Get the berry. That is huge for us. That is so huge. Because uh, now we can double into the Landorus the next turn. And the Trick Room again. Okay. That's fine. Because we can still coil. I think we coil now then. Um, and Nature's Madness into the Landorus. They're going to Sludge Bomb Finny for sure. Just get rid of us. Yeah. But I think as long as we can just sit and coil. We just don't have a, a special defense boost like we had before. Which makes it a little bit more awkward. But I mean we take that pretty well. It's just how much damage is this Landorus going to do to us. Before the Zashin comes in. That's the thing. Two coils enough. I think we'll have to start going with it. <clears throat> Earth power. How much are you going to do? That's a big question. <sighs> Too much. Too much. Our only hope is like a play rough missing again. Or if they've not PP maxed their play roughs out. Because I'm pretty sure they've used a lot of... We should... Because we should take another Earth Power. Right? We should take an Earth Power. It's just whether or not... Well, they just Behemoth Blade. They just Behemoth Blade. They don't need to mess around. Um, okay. Hmm... Chandelier has done amazingly well in this battle. I don't even think we take an Earth Power, you know. Let's see if they lock into to play rough here. If not, then nah, they're Behemoth Blading. Makes more sense. I don't think they got. They don't want to risk the play rough. The double up here is just yeah. That's all they can do. If I got only had extreme speed now, I don't think we'd win. But we could get rid of the Landorus. That's all I was going to say. Behemoth Blade. It's probably going to be enough anyway. We do take it. Okay, that's pretty good. But we ain't taking that double up. So very good game to my opponent. Zygod did pretty well. Uh, the Chandelier was the big, the crux of the, the, the game for us, you know. Um, 
the switching of the trick rooms if they hadn't switched it back it was a nice play from my opponent to be honest so you gotta take your hat off to them uh, if they hadn't switched it back then we probably would have won that one but uh, the fact that they did switch it back very good play and just took it out of our control so we'll hop over now friends and get you the rental code for today's team <laughs> Right, friends, here is the rental code for the Zygod team from today's episode. I hope if you do try it out, you enjoy it. It is a fun team to try out. It's obviously a difficult restrictor to use in the current format. I don't think it, I think it has a place, but I don't think it's like super optimal, but it is a, a cool Pokemon to play around with. The power construct ability is very fun, but I think there are better options out there, namely Groudon being one of them. But I mean, if you can get it set up with a call, you can support it well enough with support and cast there with heal pulses and things like that, then it can do some work as we saw in game one today it is going to struggle against uh pokemon like zashian though so you need to really protect volcarona um and that combination we had in that last game with the chandelier there made it very difficult to kind of manage that situation very well and obviously the haze from the finny as well complicated things as well but they're all text to be expected at the minute in the format so not making excuses there um just if you do try the team out just be aware of all of these different things that we've kind of come across in today's episode but if you do try it out let me know down in the comment section below Lot, um and i hope you have a lot of fun with it like i say i'm away on holiday now for a week so there won't be any content next week on the channel um at all but we'll be back as soon as i'm back with lots more content and uh, like i say we'll be getting stuck into the format have a look at where the metagame is from where we left off after doing more standard teams and look at what kind of new things and trending and uh, what teams are more suited to the format right now than they were at the very beginning of series 10 so have a great weekend Great week, and I will see you all very soon. Thank you so much for all the support on the channel, and uh, I'll be back before you all know. Take care of yourselves, friends, and I'll see you again very soon. Until next time, bye-bye.